the way the last telling went, so I'm going to make this a series. And because I'm a Viking, I'm going to use some alliteration and call it Mythological Mondays. I figured that the best way to initiate the series is with the tale of the first two, Askrokimbla, which turns out to Ash and Elm. So grab a horn of meat, sit by the fire, and let us hear the northern tale of the first people. One day after the creation of Mythgarder, Odin sought to create the race of man. So as he and his brothers, Loder and Hurner were walking through Mythgardor, they came across an ash and an elm tree. Odin stopped, as he had decided that these trees would be suitable for creation. He and his brothers carved out the trees into the shape of a male and a female. Yet still, even these figures remained without Orlok, for they possessed neither ont, breath, nor law, warmth, nor even old passion. Thus they did not possess a likeness with the gods. And so Odin gave them breath, Hunyr gave them passion, and Lodor gave them warmth. Thus they came to life with a likeness similar to the gods, and so they could finally experience Orlok, which is to say that they could finally have experience itself, and that they could send their own deeds into the well of Urdur. So you may ask, what do I mean when I use the terms Orlok? wells and trees and for the most part a lot of it is going to have to be elaborated upon in a more expansive video but in short before we came from Ugdrasil we were part of it. there was nothing we could do as we had no breath warmth nor passion we were nothing we were dead so to speak no deed could we accomplish no feet could we claim as our own no orlock or that is to say structure to shape our world with these three gifts we awakened Discovering our bonds and limits, we are now capable of doing great or terrible things. The names of Ash and Elm, or Askorokimbla, hint to our origin from the tree. Of course, the tree hinted at here is not referring to literal tree, as we are made of flesh and blood, but rather to Ugdrasil, the world tree, whose roots extend to Urdur and its top un extends to the unknown. This is to say that we come from materiality itself. Or, as I like to think of it, the bark of Ugdrasil, carved out by the gods. This is simply the start of the series, which I'm aiming to release every Monday. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to ask me more about Tivenry, you can find me on Twitter or in my Discord link down below.